So in this video, we will talk about bridging. We have so far talked about routing, static, and OSPF dynamic. Here in this video, we will configure VOS2 as a bridge. So what's going to happen is the packets from VOS1 is going to come through and VOS2 is just going to take those packets and pass it through without doing any routing on them without checking the IP packets. This is done at layer two. So we have to make sure MAC addresses are unique across the board. With VirtualBox, when you configure a bridge interface, it by default takes the MAC address of an ethernet interface. So you have to configure this manually. This would not happen on a physical box, just on a virtual environment. So let's do that. I've uh, configured the interface on 1.1.1.1 slash 24 and here it's on the same subnet see it's on the same subnet different addresses so this guy is going to be a bridge we don't need to configure a routing or anything so here the interfaces have no addresses let's configure the bridge and see what happens set interface bridge VR0, we enable the STP, which is spanning tree protocol to avoid loops. And then we include the uh, member interfaces as Ethernet 0 and Ethernet 1. And as soon as we can commit it, that's, that's basically all that's required to do the bridging. Three commands. Now watch what has happened here. The MAC address of bridge zero is BE47. And the MAC address of Ethernet zero is BE47, exactly the same. So in the MAC world or layer two world, this is not gonna work. You need to have a unique MAC. So we're gonna configure a unique address for the bridge interface. And that is going to be configured like this. Zero, zero. If you do a question mark, it will give you the option six hexadecimal digits. And uh, you can configure whatever numbers you want, but it has to be a hexadecimal number. Commit and see the interface. Bridge zero is MAC address now, it's different. And now when you try to ping from VOS1 to VOS3, bingo. So now we're doing bridging. This guy's a bridge instead of a router. That's how you configure bridging.